vortex. I cannot stress enough how much I hate technology. A lot of people can say that they hate technology, but they don't because they give into it. This is the world that I live in. I feel like God put me in this world for a reason. So for me to exit out of it due to fear or frustration, I feel like that's really lame. just as lame for me to leave this country because I hate this country. If I hate this country, then that means that there are criticisms that I have that could be used to better this state that we're in. So, you know, a lot of people that make these claims about like, oh, you hate America or you hate women or you hate everything. Um, <laughs> you're not wrong, okay? But it's, it's because I care. I wouldn't have this passion if, if I didn't care, you know? I mean, there are plenty of massages out there they just hate women because of their own personal reasons. You know, I mean, I, I could give you a whole slew of reasons that I hate women, but that doesn't matter, like, because those are just personal reasons. Like, they listen to the serpent, and because they listen to the serpent, Satan's brilliant plan, it always works, because people mistakenly think that women are victims, okay? And as long as they have this mindset about women being victims, they will continue to be manipulated by women. And it's the same mindset that you see with minorities, okay, certain races, blacks. Um, it's mainly blacks. Whenever they talk about minorities, that's who they're talking about. They don't care about Indians. They don't care about Indians. They don't care about Japanese people. They don't care about Pacific Islanders, okay? They care about blacks. They don't actually care about it either. They just pretend that they do because they know that it sells their papers. It sells their papers. It gets everybody in this state of like perpetual outrage all the time. Like I have this friend of mine that I do stand up with who's a Marxist, but he doesn't even know he's a Marxist. And he's an anchor baby. And I've gotten into very, very heated arguments with him over political stuff. But he makes it really obvious that he's racist. But he pretends that, like, oh, he loves all people. Bar, 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 bar. I'm just going to constantly blame white people for everything. But we love you. We love you so much. I'm a very, very insecure person, but I don't know how to accept that, so I just project it onto everybody that I think is taking advantage of me. Um, I just feel sorry for him. Because that's gotta be frustrating, being on that level, you know? So, I saw him this weekend, and I was just very, very quiet. And. <laughs> That, that's something that I've gotten really, really good at. And I've always been a very quiet person. So much so that people forget that I'm even in the room. But it's like I figured out how to hold my tongue about certain things because I know that those things aren't going to change all because I say something. And people are very intent on staying angry and being a whiny little bitch about whatever they want to be a whiny little bitch about. And 
I'm just not gonna like give in to that. You know, I'm not gonna placate them or whatever. You know, so I just stay quiet. So they have no reason to like make this assumption about anything that I say or don't say, you know, like. So it's like, I'll just, I'll just be there and I'll listen to somebody like go off on some diatribe about something and it's like, I'm smiling because I know that they're totally full of shit. But it's like, I can't, I can't tell them that. Like, to a person that doesn't have self-awareness and they have no idea like just how stupid they are, like, there's nothing that you can say to them that's gonna like make them realize that and go, holy shit, I'm terrible, you know? So that's why I don't even bother. So maybe I should like, give my Marxist friend a thank you note. I'm gonna be like, thank you so much. He's gonna be like, what for? Like, it doesn't matter, just thank you. <laughs> thank you so much for your existence. Thank you so much for proving all my points without realizing that you're proving them. <laughs> you know? But anyway. People have always been really dumb though. I know it seems like it's way worse because of the internet. I mean in certain regards it is because it's definitely accentuated what was already wrong with society. But keep in mind, technology isn't adding. Technology is subtracting, okay? So, basically it's subtracting things that we wanted to get rid of anyway. So like, when people talk about like, oh things are different, people are different. People wanted this. People wanted an easy way out and that smartphone It's like a fucking, um, what do you call it? It's a remote. It is a remote, for sure. I mean, it even looks like a remote. All those little apps. I mean, it's just crazy that like, People can't see that, you know, like similarity between like the television and the phone. And yeah, everybody's carrying around a little TV with them everywhere they go. And they tell themselves that they have to have it. No, you don't. You're a weak ass little bitch. That's what you are. I don't care. I fucking say that. You're a bitch. Only a weak ass bitch would, would let technology do everything for them. Okay. I don't care this is the way of the world. That doesn't make it right. You're lying to yourself so that you can rationalize doing something that's essentially manslaughter. Because whenever you get on your phone in a public place, everybody else is gonna be inspired to do the same thing. Because your actions affect other people, whether you're cognizant of that or not. I mean, here's the thing. If other people are doing something, like, if, if like everybody around you is doing something, isn't that lame? Like, why would you want to be like everybody else? That's the way I look at it. Like, they want to talk about, oh, we accept different, we like different. No, you like freakzoid, that's what you like. You like sexual deviance. That's not different. They're promoting that shit in the culture. That's not different at all. If you really want to be different, don't have sex. 
Why do you think they give certain people so much shit? It's because those people don't have any interest in sex. Or they use that part of their brain to channel something better, you know? Like that's why, like I, I did that video where I'm like, you know, if you're if you want to masturbate or you want to eat, it's because you're bored, you know, like if instead of, of stuffing your face or um you know touching yourself you you chose to do something that was actually constructive you would realize like how beneficial that was for your well-being you know like just giving into an urge and then just saying oh it's my biological need it's my biological need i mean i think that we lie to ourselves about that there's a lot of things that we think we need that we don't actually need like you don't need to masturbate you just tell yourself that you need to because you're probably addicted to it on some level and I don't care I will I will fucking fight anybody over this shit dudes like cannot understand that at all yeah because you're weak because you're weak and you give in to your urge to to hurt yourself and that's essentially what you're doing. You're like defiling your body. And you don't have to do that. You've told yourself that you have to do that. You tell yourself that you don't have a choice in the matter, but you always do. And why don't you have a choice in the matter? Oh, I don't know, because they're always talking about sex. They're always pushing sex on us. Internet porn, all that shit. Nobody has to do anything. It's not society's fault that you don't have self-control, okay? Like, as much as I bitch about this country, it, it's because it encourages a total lack of consciousness, okay? So anybody that's aware of how fucked up things are, they'll just call you crazy. Or they'll call you a religious nut job or something. I'm, I mean, I'm not denying either of those claims, alright? I'm not gonna say that I'm not a crazy religious nut job, but... It's like, look at what they're pushing, though. They want you to have sex with multiple people that you don't even care about. They, they want you to order shit food off of your phone. And not have any, like, realization of, like, what you're actually doing. You know, like, that's the American way. It's just buy shit until you die. <laughs> buy till you die. <laughs> That's the capitalist way, right? I mean, why do you think I'm an anarchist? It's because, like, there is no positive system out there. You have to create another system that's totally separate from the one that you live within in order to be able to function in this shit-ass world, okay? That's what anarchy is about. It's not about burning shit to the ground as much as we strongly desire to do that. We're not going to do that because we have self-awareness, okay? Okay, I guess I got to go.